blur. Third trip to Bird Dam this fall. First two trips here. I ended up with no fish. Mike was here last time, got a nice coho. But got the jig box restocked. And I'm determined to leave here with at least one fish today. I can't get skunk three times in a row, can I? I hope not. It's been a tough year. 2015's been a very tough year here. Not many fish returning. Low numbers of salmon, low numbers of trout, but there are a few. Let's go give it a try. Well, give the dam a try. Water's very low and clear. So I figure whatever fish are in this fast water are gonna be moved up to the dam. Very low, very clear, it's gonna be tough, but I'm gonna try, try my new jig out, the olive. I ain't got a name for it yet, but new one I tried, new one I tied up, and I'm gonna give this one a try.
trout. I'm a little brown. On the jig. All right, man. Nice. At least you didn't get skunked, right? Yeah. All right, man. No skunking today. I see him. There they are, right there by the rock. Two brownies coming up. I got him on there. All of that. <laughs> yeah, Mike. We just seen that fish in the water, and I swim the jig. He comes swiped there three times, and then he, then he hit it. And he finally got it. Huh? Pretty rainbow, am I? Yeah. Rainbow. That's on that olive. Come on up here. Where am I going to land? That's cool to see him come up and hit it in this clear water, huh? Come on over here. Oh, he come off. <laughs> he came off. There's a trussle spot, one of the most popular spots on a creek, and there's nobody there, nobody. Well, let's say, Mike, we go down below this hill a little bit and try in the slow frog water. We got here today on a Sunday, and uh, what do you think, there was probably 10 cars in the parking lot? Probably about 10, yeah. I figure there's probably a few less people because the deer season just opened shotgun season, but Still, there's usually a lot more people. I think they they haven't done that good this fall, so nobody's coming back. This is barren. Nothing. Well, let's go try down here in the slow water, Mike. Water's low and clear. Let's give this a shot. We've got a few up at the dam. See if we can bang one more out down here. Mike's way down there fishing the deep hole, and he hasn't got nothing. Hasn't seen anything. Usually you see fish porpoising here and there. And it is completely dead here today. How'd you make out down there, Mike? Nothing, man. Nothing? Nothing. I'll bite. Water is extremely low and extremely clear today. Between the trussel and the dam in the faster water, we can see everything. Like the water's so clear, and if we seen a dozen fish, that was it. So that means either all the fish are up at the dam, or they drop down here into the slower, deeper water. Well, to tell you the truth, there really wasn't a lot of fish up at the dam. Oh, well, we did hook four. We got four fish there come down here to the lower lower end where it's slower deeper water and we usually do pretty good when the water's low and clear here. Usually see fish porpoise in here and there. And we didn't catch any down here. We haven't seen any coming up. So I'm just thinking the fish ain't running this year. And it isn't like they're not running they're running late or it's too low, it's too cool because it, there's always fish in here even when it's low and clear, right Mike? Yeah. 
Now, with the salmon, they kept the DC kept saying the salmon are going to be running later. They're running later. It's too warm. It's, it's not enough rain. Well, probably got about a, a quarter of the run we normally get, and they just never ran. You know, it, we're in late November now, and they never ran. They're not going to run. It's just the fish numbers ain't here. Salmon numbers are down. The trout numbers are down. But if you call the New York DC fishing hotline, they'll tell you otherwise. That the fish are down below or they ain't running yet. There's just not the fish. The fish ain't here. What's the DC will come clean? There was always fish. Lake Erie trips, Lake Ontario trips, all loaded with fish, man. It was a world class fishery. And it's gradually the fishing's gotten worse and worse. And I'd say it's probably the worst year yet, huh? Yeah. I have to agree. Numbers are down. I don't know if it's a stocking. The way they're stocking them, if they got a better idea, they think they got a better idea, it ain't working. If it's a stocking or if there's a disease with the fish, but we just don't have the fish numbers anymore. You know, it's probably my last trip down here this year. We usually come all winter, Mike, right in the spring. Yeah. But uh, there's no reason to it. There's no fish. And they're not, it's not like they're going to be coming later because usually by now, regardless of how clear or low the water is, they're at least down here in the deeper water, and they're not here. Well, let's say we get out here. At least we didn't get skunked today, right? Yep. <laughs> Still nice to get out. Be nicer if there was fish in the creek. Where are the fish? No fish. 